A lawyer for a Connecticut man charged with killing a Caribbean resort worker says her client is receiving threats of violence. CBS News has obtained voicemails with some of the threats against Scott Hapgood. He's expected in Anguilla Court tomorrow in connection with the death of Kenny Mitchell. Hapgood says Mitchell attacked him in his hotel room. Errol Barnett is in San Juan, Puerto Rico on his way to Anguilla. Errol, do we know where these threats are coming from? Well, Anthony, it's very difficult to precisely trace these threats, but Hapgood's legal team says they are concerned for his safety on that island. Now, Thursday will bring a preliminary hearing there in Anguilla to determine if there's enough evidence for a trial to begin. But Hapgood says since this happened back in April, his family's lives have changed forever. We're hanging on by a thread, to be honest with you. It's been, it was a terrifying incident. Scott Hapgood appeared with his attorney in New York City arrest. Tuesday before his upcoming court appearance in Anguilla. There, he's charged with manslaughter in the death of resort worker Kenny Mitchell. I, my wife, my children, we, we wake up with it, we live in it, we swim in it, we breathe it every day. Hapgood says while on vacation with his family back in April, Mitchell attacked him at knife point in his hotel room in front of his two daughters. The violent encounter ended with Mitchell dead and Hapgood later arrested. He's been out on bail. We were advised in the context of a security warning by the police authorities that the less time in Anguilla that he spends, the better. That's because of what his lawyers call credible threats against Hapgood. They say his family has been targeted with troubling Facebook posts and messages, plus voicemails, some obtained by CBS News. I know exactly where you live, my if I ever see your punk in Connecticut, I swear to God, I'm a jump. The Caribbean island is home to around 17,000 people, and many there, like Irad Gums, are following the case closely and want more information released. I think that the authorities need to look into it more stronger, more better, and let justice prevail because it doesn't set a good precedence for Angola. Now, a toxicology report shows that Mitchell had drugs and alcohol in his system at the time of the alleged attack. Now, Hapgood's lawyers say they expect prosecutors to tell a judge in Anguilla tomorrow that they're not yet ready to formally present their case. Hapgood had requested to appear by video because of the security concerns and costs of the constant round-trip travel. Gail, that request was denied. All right, Errol, thank you very much.